G'day, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing an application which is gonna prevent weeds for the next six months. Radio. So I'm just in the final stages of spraying the back lawn here and this pre-emergent application is something that we only do twice a year, once at the start of spring, once at the start of autumn and what it's going to do is prevent those winter weeds and those summer weeds from ever having the chance when they start to germinate in the soil it's going to stop them from coming through growing up and getting into our lawns. So it's a great thing because it reduces the amount of need for herbicides because we're preventing weeds in the first place. So instead of having to come through and apply different herbicides to kill them, they just never grow. Now Spartan, which is the same, has the same exact active ingredient as Barricade. Um, it kills a lot, or sorry, it prevents a lot of weeds that we hate. So paspalum, clover, other broadleaf weeds and things like that. I've got a bit of grassy stuff coming through, but then again, I'm not too sure how well I applied it in March. I applied it a bit late actually. It didn't quite get it out in March. Um, my sprayer has had a lot of upgrades and the sprayer, um, to talk about that, is really, really coming in handy today with the upgrades that have been made. And that's something that I also wanted to talk about because today it's a bit of a weird one. It's a little bit, it's pretty still and it's a pretty nice day. Um, and I'm really happy with the spray that I'm getting out on the lawn and the effectiveness of it. Um, but there is just right now, just a little bit of breeze um, or maybe a bit more than a breeze is picking up and just at risk if I tried to spray during some of these heavier gusts, if the whole day was like this and it was just windy as, and you know, some of these gusts that are coming through, if it was constant wind like this, um, there's no way I could spray today, but it's really, really still. And then just for a minute or two, it'll pick up a bit like this right now. But with my new setup here, with this boom, the powerful new pump, it's spraying straight down. I'm getting a really good strike. Times like right now, I've just stopped for a minute. I'm just being smart about it, getting the most effective amount of spray onto the grass possible. Um, because like I said at the start, this is a really important application in the calendar. Absolutely nailed it there, my sprayer calibration, walking speed, all of that. Really happy with that. Perfect, nice, even application. Been really careful with how I've done that. Good to get it in. Out the front now, just done another quick rotary cut on this today. Um, and something before I spray out my Spartan for the front lawn, just what I was talking about before in terms of the spray conditions and things like that, people will say, oh, mate, just, just do it tomorrow instead. You know, if there's a gusts of wind coming through or whatever that could be a bit of a concern, just do it tomorrow. Well, I can't do it tomorrow. Friday's raining, then I've got footy. Not sure about Sunday. I want to be able to have the time without family around um, to be able to record this stuff, to get all, all this information out. Now is a really good time to be doing this, these applications. So yes, I could wait. Yes, I can hold off. Does a week or a two really, really matter that much? 
No, um, but I know what it's like. I know, you know, that I do want to get it done now. Is today the most absolutely 100% perfect day to spray? No, it's not the most absolutely perfect day, but I've got my precautions in place. I'm giving you hopefully good information because I know that you are going to have times where you want to get something done and you're just about to go away or there's things happening with family and work and all that sort of stuff. So hopefully me showing you realistically how I'm doing it, how you're going to maybe do it at times as well when you're in a similar situation, you just need to get something done, these are things you can do. So again, there's a bit more shelter and protection out the front here with the house and that sort of thing. So much better conditions out here. The breeze has started to die off a bit as well. So hopefully, now I'm just reading directly from the Spartan label here and reading the label, the, the labels of products are almost always available online to read before you buy. And I highly, highly encourage before you buy something, make sure you know what you're doing, what's in it, how to apply it, does it suit your lawn, all those sorts of things, because you don't want to waste money for one thing, but you also want to make sure that you're confident with how to apply these things and what to do, which is something I sort of talked about a bit in my previous video as well. But with Spartan, it says, do not blend Spartan onto any dry fertilizer or any other granular material. So if you want to put out granular acelaprin or a granular fertilizer, do not combine that with this product but you can combine this with liquid acelaprin to for grub control. Do not apply to turf under stress. So if it had a fungal disease or if it was super dry and really, really, really poor condition lawn slash soil, do not apply to newly seeded, sodded or sprigged turf. So if you have just put out seed, it will prevent your seed from growing. So if you want to do any seeding work within the next six to 12 months, depending on the rate of Spartan that you use, do not use Spartan because it will prevent the grass seed just as much as those weed seeds from germinating. New turf as well needs to establish and develop a root system and if you're sprigging as well as trying to establish that root system, Spartan will inhibit that. Do not apply if heavy rain has been forecast within 48 hours. So it does say later on in the label that this product needs to be washed in with six mils of irrigation within seven days of applying. So for me personally, in two days, we're supposed to get a lot of rain. If we don't get that rain, I'm gonna put out my sprinklers the following day, so three days after I apply, to wash that down into the soil and to activate the product. And now it doesn't say anything about this on the label from what I can see, but I wouldn't be mowing the grass before it's been watered in. It says do not irrigate to the point of runoff within three days of application. So same thing, you don't want heavy, 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 heavy rain or watering your lawn that's gonna wash away the product. You just want enough water that's gonna help it sink down into the soil. Now in here, there are different tables where it says the situation. So what type of grass, whether you've got cooch or buffalo, kaikuyu, zoysia, etc. It says about the weeds that it controls and then it says the rate that you need so how many mils of Spartan per 100 meters squared? I've done 25 mil per 100 meters squared for my Kaikuyu lawn here. So about 125 mils out the back and under, just under 50 out the front here for my 180 meters squared. And it tells you the different weeds that are being controlled. So we are controlling winter grass when we spray it in March. We're controlling crow's foot. We're controlling past palum. We're controlling Kentucky bluegrass. We are controlling crabgrass, rat's tail fescue, summer grass, all sorts of weeds that are gonna be prevented. And it does also say in here about needing to use five liters per 100 meters squared. So that works out really well with my calibration of both my sprayers for my spray volume. And in terms of re-entry as well, once it's dried, it is safe for people to re-enter the area. So applying this twice a year is something that I definitely 100% recommend and I think it is really intelligent as well and it's a good thing to get started because preventing the weeds in the first place, like I said earlier, it does prevent the need for a lot of herbicides um, and you might only need a spot spray little bits instead of needing to blanket spray a herbicide over your entire lawn a couple of times, a few times a year, whatever it may be. Um, so it works really well from that perspective. And even if you only use this pre-emergent, a lot of your weeds will naturally die out. For example, winter grass is one that'll just naturally die by itself when it gets hot. And so, you know, it's not something to worry about now. Coming into spring, don't worry, it's hard to kill. It'll get there by itself just with the weather. But anyway, Spartan, great to have that out. Gonna let the water or the rain wash it in Friday. 
um, it always feels good to get applications like that done knowing the results that are to follow. So really happy to get that applied. Definitely a product that I recommend. It's suitable to pretty much all grass types in Australia. So don't be worried about that. And even if you're seeing this video now or in the next week and it takes a week to get here and you know, you don't end up applying it because now start of September is prime time. So even if you don't end up applying it until October, you're still gonna be preventing weeds for six months from that point. So it's absolutely worth it. This garden bed is getting a touch up at the moment and I'm gonna be planting in there very soon. Looking forward to that in terms of ongoing projects. But um, yeah, look, get yourself some pre-emergent, prevent those weeds. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.